Hey everyone, Mr. Cohen here. I'm just finishing up grading your week 10 discussion posts, the EQ and the warm up. So here's a few thoughts I've had while looking at these this week. Number one, the reflection on the EQ post, according to the rubric, which you should be pretty familiar with, that's half of the points. 10 points out of 20 go to the reflection, so don't ever leave that out. Too many people are doing that. Number two, quizzes are looking better. There's, for the most part, people are answering someone's quiz and very few people are having to answer their own at the end of the week. We're looking for everyone answering someone else's quiz. Now, if someone does answer your quiz, do them a solid and grade it. That's another set of points you're leaving on the table by not grading that. Number three, what I can see at a glance when I'm looking at your grades for the discussions, I can see right away, this is what I want to see, you've done three posts. The first EQ post was on time and that you responded to a classmate or you didn't. I can tell all of that just by glancing at your, your grade spot. So don't let any of this go to waste, right? Okay. I'm, I'm really liking what I'm seeing. This term is looking better for a lot of people. <laughs> Some of you felt like I better step it up. So good job. How about this? Would you like a little extra credit? I've offered it before and nobody took it. So we'll try again. You assign me one sight singing assignment from Ottman. Use the, use the, your private topic, post it in there for me, and then I'll do it. And I promise I'll actually sight read it. And then you grade it too. You can, you can get a point for assigning it and a point for grading it. How's that sound? It'll be applied to another week, like the next week down the line. Okay, Mr. Cohen out. Have a good weekend.